Have you ever heard a situation of parents throwing their beloved babies over a barbed wire fence? Unbelievable, but this is the reality that's happening now in Afghanistan, just right across China. Recently, humanitarian crises in Afghanistan have been a big issue. It all started with the US President Joe Biden's announcement, which said that the United States will complete the withdrawal of their troops from Afghanistan on May 1st. Only three months after they decided to withdraw, Taliban invaded not only Kabul, but most of the Afghanistan areas. Well, why is this a severe problem? Some people might ask. There are lots of countries that are at war, and Afghanistan is just one of those countries. But why are people so grave about this matter? Well, it has a reasonable background. In fact, Taliban once ruled over Afghanistan between 1996 and 2001 until the September 11 attacks in 2001. They ruled in a totally cruel way, taking away all freedom and rights from the people of, of Afghanistan. They, pro they prohibited listening to music, watching TV, and even did not let women go outside without men. In this situation, many requests and policies have been made internationally in order to help Afghanistan. For instance, China has announced that they will strengthen the multilateral security cooperation by SCO, which stands for Shanghai Cooperation Organization. And Russia stated that they will continue to hold joint military training with Tajikistan and Uzbekistan forces in the Tajikistan-Afghan border region. Now, in the similar context, I would also like to suggest the following four proposals. First, I request all relief organizations and government of the powers to look after the right to protect and provide enough humanitarian assistance to the civilians of Afghanistan. Yes, it is a fundamental factor which sounds quite abstract, but it really is an important thing for the people who are suffering, unable to work out the necessities of life, which conclude food, clothing, and a place to live. Second, I call for as many countries as possible to accommodate, accommodate refugees from Afghanistan. It is true that accommodating refugees cause plenty of social and political problems, but I think saving humans' lives should be prioritized since all social and political issues exist after people exist. Third, I suggest South Korea's government to do all its duty to give help to those who are in danger for helping Korean institutions related to Afghanistan, such as members of the Embassy of Korea in Afghanistan and their families. Last but not least, I propose every country to keep an eye on Taliban's official promise, which contains information about not only respecting women's human rights and freedom, but also not taking revenge. These four suggestions are the ones I think that should be done quickly. It is true that the situation in Afghanistan is sort of a political problem, but the humanitarian crisis is the most severe problem occurring over there. Like I said in the introduction, parents throw their babies to the US troops to save them, and to add, people even dangle from the plane only to fall from it hundreds of feet in the air. Long story short, people are so desperate to escape the Taliban-controlled Afghanistan so, they, so that they risk their lives. I hope all those residents of Afghanistan regain their freedom and get out of fear. And for that, everybody here should constantly be interested in those issues. Thank you.